Thanks for tuning in to Skylands Weekly. I'm your host, Melissa Estock on Channel 10. Happy 4th of July. This week we visit Lenape Valley High School and Vernon High School for our last two Champions for Charity events. But first, how much sun can you get during the summer that is a safe amount for your skin? Take a look as we visit a registered nurse at St. Clair's to teach us a few easy steps to keeping safe in the sun. Keeping yourself safe in the sun is basically primarily hydration and, and limited exposure is good. And uh, it does help with vitamin D absorption and, and just it's a very good thing to stay healthy and active in the summer sun and get outside, but you just need to use protection while you're doing it. Tell us about the negatives and positives to getting some sun during the summer. Okay, well first off there's positive. Most people are not exposed to the sun during the winter and there actually is something called seasonal affective disorder which causes a lot of depression and anxiety in people. Um, usually limited access to the sun is a great uh, reliever for that symptom. Uh, and, uh, and if you do have that problem you need to talk to your doctor about it. But uh, as far as, as the summer sun goes, like we said, limited exposure is very good for you. If you're going out walking your dog for a half hour, that's probably fine. Um, you just need to remember to get the sunscreen when you're out for an extended period. You're going to the beach, it's a very hot day, the, the UV ray exposure, they always tell you that on the news is high. You really need to be careful with that. Get out your sunblock viewers. This easy step can keep you from developing skin cancer. You want to be choosing a sunblock. Um, to probably the highest, the highest that you can really get a hold of. And um, with children, you really want to be looking for UVA and B uh, sunscreen. And small children, infants, you really need to be putting sunscreen almost any time you have them out for exposure. Obviously, the big risk for sun exposure is skin cancer. So that's one of the things that you need to be uh, using the sunscreen for. Um, also, while you're in the sun, you really should be trying to wear a hat. If you're having extreme exposure, use your beach umbrella or possibly even... Um, consider um, some extra fluids because you don't want to get dehydrated from hanging out at the beach. People leave, they feel nauseous, overexposed to the sun, so you really want to be careful with that. Curious to see what the sun is doing to your skin? There are sunspots that will crop up and if you have any concerns, you, you, some people get like extra freckles from the sun. So those are just subtle changes and there actually is, and we do offer a health screening once a year usually where you can actually come and they do usually a sun uh, exposure screen where they actually show it on a, a camera for you to see how much sun you've been exposed to. Um, so that is a possibility as well. But um, meanwhile, if you do have any concerns, uh, rashes, Un unexplainable rashes, moles, things that have changed after you've been in the sun, you really need to have it examined by a dermatologist. 